Day Show and Vlog and it's time for a new trip, babe. It is. It is. We're currently at Newcastle Airport and it's very busy. We've got all checked in for our BA flight down to Heathrow, gone through security, gone through duty free and now we are sat with a neck oil and a bourbon for you. Ah. That is needed, that is needed. Yeah, it was a, bit, a little bit different in the um, security because it's new machines. We didn't have to take anything out at all. Are you ready for our longest travel day yet? Our longest flight yet? Getting there, getting the, there. The longest flight we've ever done up until the one that we're taking today was 12 hours. But it's going to be 14 hours plus however long we're sat on the plane. We need to get to London first, down to Heathrow. Yeah. So we're going to have these, have a wander around the, the shops get on the plane and head down to Heathrow and then we're heading to Singapore. We are. Singapore, our first time travelling east to Asia. It is, it is. Yeah. I'm nervous excited, <laughs> as I keep saying. Nervous, I'm nervous but I'm excited. It's my big 40th trip. It I turned 40 just after we come back, a couple of days after we come back from this trip. We've got three weeks away, starting in Singapore. But we're away for my birthday, not his. That's Go big on that one. Always the case. We're flying with BA, regular flight out of London, then we're on the A380. We've got one of the rows that are at the back of the cabin, which has only got four rows and it's a nice quiet cabin, hopefully, with two seats together rather than the three upstairs. Because downstairs in economy, it's three, four, three, I think, and that means I'm always sat in the middle and it's uncomfortable. I want to sit just the two of us. It'll help with my, my, my bum knee as well at the moment. Yeah. And it'll hopefully be better for me with me not being top form at the minute. What's the plan for the trip, babe? First, it is Singapore. No, yeah, it is Singapore, but three of those days are going to be on Sentosa Island. Then three days in Penang. Then from Penang, we head to KL for eight, Kuala Lumpur. Or Kuala Lumpur. For eight days, then back to Singapore for a day before we fly back to the UK. Yeah, so three weeks, five hotels. One, two, three, seven flights. Four airlines. It's going to be a new experience for me. Yeah. Being in the chair and all these new airlines, which I do everything a bit differently. Test out Asia. It's been a been a challenge finding a cabin bag that fits all of the airlines because every single one of them has a different size. Why can't they just be uniform? Can they do it deliberately or something? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we've had to um, reduce our weight down because each flight. The UK flights are fine. I, my diet didn't work before this. The UK, no, you didn't die. The UK flights were fine. They had the biggest allowance. Um, it's the flights between um, Singapore and Penang and Penang and Kuala Lumpur, isn't it? That's yeah. the issue. We've got flights and with Kuala Lumpur to um, Singapore. With Scoot, with Malaysia Airlines and with Jetstar Asia for those ones. And we'll show you them as, as we do them as, as much as we can. We need to get to Singapore first. And that's the long flight. Yeah, Sean's had to do a lot of investigation. This, have, this has been in the, the planning for a long time. He's had to do a lot of investigation of, for myself, the, um, the wheelchair, and obviously the luggage allowances and things. It's been, it's been hard, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been, it hasn't been easy. We'll tell you more about the trip as the day goes on. Some of the things that we've got planned, some of the places we want to go and see, some of the food we want to eat. We'll tell you more after we've had this trip. Cheers everyone. Cheers babe. Merry Christmas. It's not Christmas. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. We have made it to London. Our flight was delayed from Newcastle so uh, we had to mad dash from our flight once the assistance people came to get us across Heathrow, Terminal 5, to Seagate and then get straight on the A380 and we're at the back of the A380 so it's uh, Caroline had to use the aisle chair? Yeah, I had to use the aisle chair because uh, we're right at the back yeah. so it's literally off the plane onto another plane um, but they were already boarding so that was a bit of a hassle. I had to do it fast, no chance to go to the toilet, get a drink, have anything either, anything like that. So we've just scrammed some Pringles and as soon as the seatbelt light went off, I rushed to the toilet. Just really desperate, it's been just ages. And um, we're just waiting for the service and then we'll probably get some sleep, I think, or try anyway. I'm very tired. This is an overnight flight on the A380 with BA. We'll try and get some sleep. Maybe watch a movie or two, a quiet place, day one, I want to say. 
I probably listen to music I generally do if it's an overnight flight. Yeah, we'll show you the food um, and what what comes. We're sat in a in a two seat configuration. So downstairs on the A380 is a three four three. Upstairs it is two four two. But these seats feel do feel quite cramped and small. Although you do have like a little bit of storage space there yeah. to keep things in. Um, the, the plane definitely needs a bit overhead, of a refurb. The overhead compartments are tiny. The overhead compartments are tiny as well. Yeah, you can't really store much in there. Not. We've got a smaller carry-on case, but you can't really store that much. Everything's a bit old on this plane. Need things yeah, the entertainment but system doesn't work really well either. It's a touch screen that doesn't work with touch. I'm having to do like <coughs> nails. Give it a good poke. Yeah. Anyway, we'll show you when the food comes. arrived in Singapore that was a pretty uneventful flight apart from somebody passing out and me getting too hot realizing I've got wind and then feeling better but um <laughs> for, the, for a long flight I actually got quite a got, got a few hours sleep I had I had the aisle so I could put my uh, injured knee in the aisle which helped a lot it's not hurting you were a little bit cramped and I was I cramped I've, I've had pains the whole time in my legs and stuff so yeah yeah. And I've, I've got a bad stomach anyway, so that's been playing up. Yeah. But I've got a little bit of sleep. We're just waiting on the assistants to come and get Caroline's aisle chair to get her off the plane and then get the wheelchair and we'll get through immigration. We've got to do our pass. She needs no, the aisle chair. chair. Yeah. Uh, we've got to fill in the arrival card, which we started doing on the way, but the app stopped working, so we're hopefully going to grab some Wi Fi in the airport to do that. And I've got a SIM card ready to go as well. What do you think about the food? Um, my rigatoni was was nice. Um, I didn't really eat much else because of my stomach. Um, I didn't like my frittata for breakfast. What kind of choice is oysters and chicken or mushroom uh, pasta? Surely there's lots of people who don't like oysters and lots of people who don't like mushrooms. Maybe. I had to go with the chicken and it's all right. The, my frittata had um, cream, like a uh, cauliflower cheese kind of sauce. Yeah. Anyway, I'm really excited to get some feet on Asia first time. Asia, of anywhere in Asia, but Singapore. We need to get to our hotel, which is the Village Hotel on Sentosa. We're staying there for a couple of days first. When it's your birthday, three we'll days. Do, do Universal, explore Sentosa a little bit, um, and then we've got five days at Marina Bay after this. So we need to get all the way through immigration. Not Marina Bay Sands, though. No, no. We are of our price league. Yeah, we're not the care shows. <laughs> um, we need to get to the village, get all checked in, sort everything out and then grab some food and have a little bit of a look around I think and that's where we'll take you. Yeah, come along. That was fast. I've never, an A380 unloaded with every passenger including assistance in 15 minutes is pretty good. We've, I thought I could walk fast, the assistance guy walks fast. <laughs> Straight through um, immigration, you, if you download the app you can do it in advance but they also have little tablets that you can do here as well. So don't worry if you haven't done it before you get to the airport, you can just do it when you get here. They've got tablets to the side to fill in your boarding, your arrival card, your boarding card. Then it's straight to grab the baggage and we're just trying to find Caroline's wheelchair at the moment. We've got all the luggage, we just need to find your wheelchair. And then we can get a grab or a taxi, I don't know which one. I need to sort out an ASIM and then get the hotel. We have made it all the way from the airport to the village hotel. Give you a little bit of a room tour in a second. First impressions, really, really nice. Hotel smells lovely, all the staff are friendly. This is an accessible room. And the, I emailed the hotel beforehand when we booked and they said, we don't have accessible rooms, we can't do a shower chair. But this is an accessible room, as you'll see from the room tour. 
they do have one, they do have a shower chair. Bear that in mind when you, when you message them. Uh, we booked through hotels.com, sent them a message, and that, that was the response. We've got a lot of exploring to do tonight, but here's the room tour. We have made it all the way to our room in the Village Hotel. It's room 5077. Yeah, for electronic key cards. As you come in, on the left, is the accessible bathroom. A big king bed with a beautiful woman lying on it. Hello there, beautiful. Sockets beside the bed. It's British sockets in Singapore. Nice light. Little painting beside it. This is the wardrobe. So you would think that those were doors behind those mirrors, but no, they're, that's, they're just mirrors. There's no wardrobe there. It's your first impressions of the room. It's nice. The, it smells nice as well. The whole, the whole hotel smells nice. Um, How comfy is the bed? It, it's, at the moment, it, it's comfy because I've just come off a 13 and a half hour flight. Mm. I'll tell you tomorrow. Right. Um, but yeah, the pillows seem nice as well. We need to explore the hotel on the island a we little do. bit more and get some food and a drink because I'm to parched. Put my medication in the fridge. I need to practice using that toilet. Or maybe you do, Caroline. Probably yeah. me more than you with my stomach problems. Yeah, fancy toilets. The journey we've got a grab from the airport, uh, which cost 30 Singapore dollars. Took about half an hour. Grab driver was really nice, uh, journey was friendly. It was twenty-seven dollars, but we didn't have any. Twenty-seven ninety. Twenty-seven ninety, but we didn't have enough change, so we give him thirty. Just said keep it. And I know you don't. I, I know you don't tip in Singapore, but we uh, we said just keep that. And that that airport was really really nice. We could have been from landing to out the airport in twenty minutes if they hadn't misplaced Caroline's wheelchair for a bit, and then we had to go and find it because everything was done. It was really really easy. Um, shall we freshen up? Hello. Yeah, I was just going to say the guy was super helpful, the taxi driver, who made, made every effort to get all the luggage in and the wheelchair. Nothing was a problem to him. He was really nice. Mm. Yeah, I think it's all I think everybody's been nice. It was, everything's been quick, efficient. The only issue was how long we had to wait for the wheelchair, and I just think there was a bit of a mix-up with that. But I was on one of their wheelchairs, which actually is better than most of the wheelchairs I've been on in an airport before. I'm just trying to get rid of my pudding feet. <laughs> and I still wore flight socks and I've got puddings. So I've just tried the toilet. Um, very comfortable. It's a pressure seat that goes down on its own. So I did the thing on the wall that Sean was on about. It's like a remote controls to wash your front and your rear. And it's got a dryer on it. So I used it and I dried. I now feel nice and fresh. I also found... Um, in the toilet there's a little drawer and it has shower caps and things so I can actually show you now. I didn't realise these were here so we've got sanitary stuff, shower caps, combs, dental kits, so toothbrush and toothpaste. Very very handy. Anyway we are now going to explore and get some food and a drink. We just come out the hotel and literally across the road is Resort World and Universal so we're gonna head down and check it out because there's a food court in here and some food trucks I think. Let's check them out. So uh, here's the lift. Go to Universal there on the trip, but we need to go down to the lift. Very warm. It is very humid, yeah. It's very accessible. It's all it is extremely accessible so yeah, far. Cheaper. The Peruvian. Food history. What's going on here? I have no uh, idea. Food history. He's the thinker. What are you thinking about? What are you going to eat? There's a Centosa Heritage Trail as well, Sean, right that sign to you. There is lots to check out, lots for us to check out tomorrow. Yeah, lots and to tomorrow's, do. tomorrow's, in the next video, which is tomorrow for us, we are exploring Centosa and all the various things you can do. That's not accessible. No, that's not an accessible route, Sean. <laughs> I think you've got to go the other way. <laughs> So far there's been signs that we can see where it is accessible and I didn't notice one for that bit there. 
It's yeah, one thing I've noticed about Singapore so far is it's very green. There's the uh, ramp very sign clean. there, clean and green ramp that way. Ramp. That way it that is. Way. Yeah. yeah. We'll come back to you once we get down to the bottom. Yeah. There's the ramp sign. We've made it down to Universal Studios. We will be checking you out later on this trip. We wanted to go there. I think that's where the gourmet food park was, but it is not there anymore and it's been scrubbed out on the map so i think we're going to check out the malaysian food street instead will that do you yeah, fine. you thought you were getting malaysian food in a week's time but you'll get it on the first day in singapore <laughs> it's true very true well singapore was part of malaysia it for was. one year for one. Give or take. you want satay oh, you, you love satay them some and porridge. So we went to the machine and ordered from four different stalls, I think. Um, what we found <laughs> is it vibrates and tells you there. I need to go to C3 now. So we get some beers, a tiger, a Coke Zero and a lime and plum. Caroline's first bit of food here, but I need to go and grab this one. I'm running what, all over. What you got now? Too much food. <laughs> <laughs> we went too crazy. Run crazy. That's the wrong receipt. You went, you went a bit crazy. And we've ordered, yeah, we've ordered too much clearly. You said it was going to be small portions and it's I not. I said I didn't know. All, um, we've ordered four bits of food. So we've got one ton noodle with pork, which is this one, and soup. It's going again. Chicken satays, um, vegetable rice, rice and I'm then we need... I'm suspecting that's like sambal, former sambal. And then no, it's just... Um, just a chili. Uh, soy sauce with chili. And yeah. we just need the roti chennai now, which is the last thing that's like. Which is beefing now. So where are you going to go for that? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Is this um, this vegetarian? Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Do I keep it? Okay. Okay, they're rocky. Let's tidy this up a bit. It doesn't look so much when I put it together and get rid of trees. So I've got chicken satays, the pork noodles there, and the soup, that's mine. You've got the fried rice, vegetable yeah. fried rice, and the roti chennai with the vegetable lentil dal. Have a try of your rice. That's nice. Just nice. You're trying to, oh, you, okay. Okay, you're going all in. I'm going to try the lime and plum. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. I'll try. It's actually nice, yeah? Yeah. Right, um, did you now, want to... I want a satay. Dipped it in the peanut sauce. That's good satay. I feel like I'll get better when we go to Saturday Street, but this is still pretty good. Just drinking your Coke Zero. <coughs> the chili got you there, Pat? No, I got some green stuck in my throat. <laughs> this. That, that Saturday, that chicken Saturday was pretty good. I have a feeling I'll get a lot better when we go to Saturday Street and it's more uh, charcoal y, but that, that was still pretty good. The peanut sauce is delicious. I want to try some of Caroline's bread. That rice is really nice. It is really nice? Yeah. But that is really good and that dal is really interesting flavour. It's, it's really interesting and the more you have, the spicier it gets. Spicy, tomatoey. Yeah, um, and it's got veg in it. Um, but the, the roti is actually crispy, which I've never had a roti that's actually crispy before. Look at that. Dip it in. The pork noodles. What's going to go cold this quicker? Let's try a bit of the pork first, the barbecue pork. That's alright. I think it needs more soy sauce. 
we ran out of your soy sauce. Okay, let's try the noodles. It's the dry noodles, aren't they? Yeah, this is a dry noodle dish. How am I going to get all these in my dog? They're nice, but fishy. They taste a bit fishy to me, but um, oh, they're nice. It's a secret sauce, so it could be it could be an oyster sauce or something, Sean. It's a fish sauce. It could be. All right, let's try one of these soup dumpling things. I'm using the wrong they... utensil for this. It's slippy. Are they chicken or pork? This is chicken and shrimp, I think. Oh, it's broken. Do you need to go again? Do you need to go and get a fork? Oh. <laughs> Slippery. There's the money shop. Slippery. You're not doing very well here, are you, at the minute, Sean? No. The sli it's the sli they look like brains. It's like brains. Can you put it straight up to you? There you go. That's an interesting flavour. I'd want to try them somewhere else because I don't think I get them again here. They're kind of like... It's got like a kind of burnt thing, but the best food out of everything is Caroline's veggie food. Out of all the food here, is your veggie food. Yeah, I, I would say this is the, the this is the best veggie rice I've had in a long time. Fried rice in a long time. We're going to finish this. We finished our food, that was really enjoyable and now we're heading to have a look in 7-Eleven and then check a few things out. Sean doesn't want to walk too far because his trainers are rubbing his heels. Yeah. Um, it's very humid. It's now about 8pm as well. It is cooler already though. Um, I left those noodles, I ate the pork, left the noodles and left the other shrimp, uh, the slimy dumpling that was bouncing all over. But ate the rest, finished off yours as well. Yeah. The little bit that you left. Your veggie food was definitely the best. It, it was really good. Yeah. Really Let's good. get a couple of drinks from 7-Eleven and then we'll have a, a little bit more of a wander around, I think. Find that, somewhere for another drink. I'm actually very tired. Sean's, please. Too early to go to sleep. He's wide awake. He'll really early. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look around. Monorail, monorail, monorail. Can I get the monorail quick enough? Did I get it? No. no. I didn't get it. <laughs> there it is. Sentosa and monorail. Yeah, and it's dark, it's gone dark since we've come out. So we went in when it was light and it's now dark. Pretty lights. Where have you brought me? <laughs> Into some, some that's the Crockford Tower, there's a galleria. Which hotel is that, Sean? Hotel Michael. Hotel Michael. This is a sensory scape, Sean. You've got to let your senses wander. Are you going in the mist? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everything will get wet if we go in there. It will do. <clears throat> It'll be nice and cool, though. Well, it will. Maybe I should go in. You could do. Oh, let's just go through it, come on. Let's just do it. You can't feel anything? Oh, now I felt something. <laughs> that went on the camera. Misty. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Up the top. There's a 7 Eleven there, Sean. I don't know how it's big closed. it is. It's closed. Is it? oh, no, it's no, it's open. It's open. a drink shop and this is supposed to be really good although I went for the zero sugar one so it's probably not as good 
but you know, gotta stay a little bit healthier. It's kind of, oh, I was gonna say it's kind of like a lemonade without sugar, but actually it's not. It looks to me like fizzy water. There's like, there is lemon in there, but there's something else. It's quite nice actually quite nice and I don't like like sparkling water the carbonated type stuff like that but I could drink this and it's kind of like in between a fizzy pop and and that I think is it kind of like a Beverly no you have a try it's grapefruit is it smells like grapefruit it's grapefruit it doesn't taste like grapefruit to me. I don't like grapefruit. It's grapefruit. Must be a special Singaporean grapefruit. It tastes like grapefruit to me. Ah, oh, well. Let's head back to the hotel, see, see if the hotel's got a bar. Yep. We are back in the room. We just spent the last hour and a half. Yeah. Two hours? Try hour and a half. Something trying like to keep that. ourselves awake. Keeping ourselves awake. We had a couple of drinks in the Altitude Bar in the hotel next door, the Outpost, which all the aircons just come on. Cool the room. It's 25 degrees in this room, apparently. We need to get that cooler. The Altitude Bar, very, very nice. Very loud music, though, so that's why we didn't do any talking over there. But that pool would be. That pool was inviting. I was I'm sweaty and sticky and that pool would have been nice to jump in or even just one of the showers, but I'm not dressed for that. What? <laughs> I'm just laughing at you saying you're sweaty and sweaty and stinky and I'm I'm actually got cold legs and feet and arms. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have a serious case of the humiditities on this and, holiday. And you saying putting the aircon on, I'm like, no please don't put the aircon on. <laughs> well the aircon needs to be on. I it don't do air I don't do aircon when it and I like new rooms to be just, yeah. just so. But a quick look in the 7-Eleven as well that we didn't vlog. There's a few things in there that we, we want to take home. So we'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a shopping vlog probably. But we're going to try and get some sleep. Wake up bright and breezy. Got a long day tomorrow, no doubt. I'm tired. Yeah? I'm very tired. Hope you've enjoyed this little travel day and a little bit of Singapore. There's lots more to come and I am just loving it. I would say so far we've been impressed by a lot of the disability stuff and just the general just the place in general. of people. And Everyone's so nice, clean. friendly, clean. Sentosa, not cheap. <laughs> not like the drinks weren't cheap in Altitude Bar. Um, the food, I think it's probably cheaper than some of the other hawkers, but, but hey, we've come to the, the expensive part first and then we'll, we'll get cheaper as the trip goes. And then we move to Malaysia, which is cheaper again. It's yeah. true. Singapore, most expensive city on the planet, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this video tune in next time uh, where we're going to spend a whole day exploring sentosa and if you're not already subscribed you probably want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next one thanks for watching guys keep making memories catch you later